And as of tomorrow, all Spokane Elementary School students will be back in the classroom at least a few days a week. Well, we could see more of that statewide. Governor Jay Inslee announced this afternoon the state is adjusting its guidance for the return to in-person learning. Alex Crescenti is here with what's changed and what parents can expect. Alex. At the end of the day, it's still school districts that have the decision on when to return to in-person learning. But this new guidance is designed to allow more students to return to in-person learning with greater numbers and more days out of the week. We know that in-person instruction is the, the best way to do instruction. It's best for the teachers, it's best for the students, it's best for the parents. Currently, there are 200,000 students across 175 schools around the state that are receiving some form of in-person learning. The new guidance broadly aligns with the CDC plan for school reopenings released last week. They basically have said unequivocally that if we have strong health and safety measures, Returning to school is a safe thing to be able to be done if we pay attention to some of these safety protocols. Here in Spokane, many school districts have already begun to phase back most of their students. Since the beginning of the month, Central Valley School District had K through 12 return in a phased model, and Spokane Public Schools had fifth through sixth graders returning this week, with older kids set to head back March 1st. The governor also announced they are expanding the COVID testing assistance that can be provided to schools. This is part of our ongoing effort to give more students the option to return to in-person instruction. And it obviously increases access to testing, both for educators and students. Inslee says that this is not necessary to get back to school, rather to build confidence in parents that returning to the classroom is safe and funding should not be an issue as schools should be receiving funding for the testing capabilities. Spokane Public Schools has been doing their own free drive through testing program since early January across four different locations. That is available for students, staff, and family. I'm told so far they have administered more than 1,000 tests alone from this program. Reporting live in studio, Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now.